dun, 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 dun. For, this is the MakerBot Replicator 2X. So you've announced the MakerBot Replicator 2 and the 2X. Tell me about the differences between them and how they differ from the previous generation of MakerBots. So at MakerBot, we're an innovation company, and we make machines that help you become innovative and make things. And we just launched the MakerBot Replicator 2 and the MakerBot Replicator 2X. The MakerBot Replicator 2 is optimized to use the material PLA. PLA is a material made from corn, and it's a renewable bioplastic. So it's a really great material to work with, very low shrinkage, very easy to work with, just works. Now, if you're the kind of person who has a, a secret mad scientist lab and you like to wrestle with things, then the Replicator 2X might be for you. It's an experimental 3D printer. It's got a heated build platform. You can see it's enclosed to stabilize the cooling process, which means less cracks. And it's got two extruders so you can experiment with two color 3D printing. And we also announced the Thingiverse API, and as part of that API, we created an application called the MakerBot Customizer. You can go to Thingiverse.com and customize things. So this makes it easier for, for people who may not know how to use CAD programs to make things that they want, that are just the way they want it, customized for them. So I think that we're going to see a lot more of that on Thingiverse and in, with MakerBot in general, where we're reaching a larger audience, we're making it easier, more friendly, more fun, more approachable, and so people can be more successful and change the world with MakerBot. How do you kind of moderate what people are putting up on there? I know there was some attention to um, like assault rifle receivers, especially after there were a couple of shootings this year. I know that Thingiverse has in its terms of service that you know, weapons are allowed, um, but it's a lot to kind of comb through. So how do you kind of moderate what people are putting up on there? How much attention do you pay to that? You know, that's actually moderated by the community. One of the things we did as we've evolved Thingiverse is we added a report as an appropriate button. So when people see things, they report it. So it's really a community experience. And MakerBot was one of the first and still definitely one of the most well-known names in 3D printing. As it's become more popular, of course, there are some other companies that want to get into it too, sure. thinking of uh, PrinterBot, raise a ton of money on Kickstarter. Um, how do you feel about that competition? And how do you kind of continue to keep MakerBot different from what else is out there? You know, we're just laser focused on making MakerBot the best experience anybody can have in 3D printing. And there's, you know, the fact that other people are showing up means that all, you know, all votes are rising. And you know, I, I basically feel like anybody who says the word 3D printing in the world and is willing to educate people about 3D printing is a friend of MakerBot.